In today's video, I'm announcing the plans for 250,000 subscribers. What's up, guys? We are back with another surprise, well, sort of a surprise, update on the 250,000 subscriber special, which, by the way, we're not that close to right now. We're like 237. So if you want to make it closer, just hit that subscribe button. Before we actually get into what we're doing today, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this ultimate rare Dark Horus from Phantom Darkness. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think we shoot for 250K? Because the, all the plans are not set in stone yet, but this one thing that I'm about to show you guys is. This video is sponsored by whatnot whatnot is an awesome auction platform that i'm consistently streaming on and my next stream is this thursday where we'll be opening a first edition rise of destiny hobby box so we have a chance at the ulti creator the ulti perfect machine king and many other awesome cards so if you want to be there to watch the stream or you want to buy some packs or you want to win giveaways then all you have to do is click the link down below get 15 dollars free credit if you're a new user then go bookmark my stream by typing in ruxin 34 in the search bar and then finding my shows on the shows tab and then bookmarking it i also have another stream coming next thursday so you might want to bookmark that while you're over there this is going to be a fun stream it's at 4 p.m on thursday i know that's july 4th for all you u.s people but we did it a little earlier so we can avoid fireworks and stuff if you're not from the u.s it doesn't even matter so just it's actually good for you guys because it's a little earlier for all the european watchers and stuff like that so make sure you bookmark the stream it's gonna be super fun and i hope to see you guys there so i actually zoomed out more than i normally do it's gonna be a little farther away but that's so you can see because there's gonna be a lot of stuff to show you guys so let's start off if you are a patreon member or a youtube member at the special footage level or above you already know what this is because i posted a special secret early video for you guys about a week and a half ago but if you're not a member you don't know yet and if you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member at the $8.99 or $10 level plus, you guys can go check those out. Click the join button, button down below or join the Patreon down below in the description as well. If you do that, you get bonus videos, you get early access to some stuff and a few other things, and you support the channel. That's mostly the reason you would do it. I don't want you to join expecting a ton of stuff because it's mostly just like one video a month and stuff and a few extra things. But really, it's to support the channel and I appreciate all you guys who do that. Okay, let's get going. So, uh... I kind of I kind of tease the Patreons like this. So this is let's just go through. So this is what we have here. There's some stuff that we're gonna open. Okay, yeah, Age of Overlord. That's nice. Uh, OTS 23, Rarity Collection One, Valiant Smashers, Maze of Millennia. We've got Phantom of uh, Phantom Nightmare, not Phantom of Nightmare. Uh, is there something stuck to that? No, it's just that pack feels extra large. Probably because this is really small. OTS 24, Chapter One. That's an extra large pack. Legacy, Rarity Collection Two, Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's really cool. Let me just throw that over there. We could also open stuff like OTS 21, Speed. Tournament Pack 5, Maze of Millennia, or Maze of Memories, not Millennia. Man, they're trying to confuse me today. It's working. Blue Eyes 25th, Metal Raiders, Pharaoh Servant, Spell Ruler, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, Cyberstorm Access, Wild Survivors, Battles of Legend, Monsters Revenge, uh, 22 of uh, OTS, uh, Speed Duel Tournament Pack 6, which still looking for 7. It should, it's on the way, though. Duels Nexus, first edition. Okay, wow. What, wonder what we could be doing, guys. Has anybody guessed it yet? Has anybody guessed what we might be doing for 250K? Wow, does this look familiar? Light edition, by the way. Okay, let's enough with the, the the memes. Okay, we're opening every pack again. This is the third time we've done it. We opened every pack in 2020. Uh, you know, since then we've had a lot of new packs. Uh, I, that's when I forgot to record the end. I it, well, I did record, but I didn't record my hands. I didn't press record because it ran out of battery. All this different stuff. Then I redeemed myself in 2022 by actually recording the whole thing. So in 2022, I did this as well. It was insane. It was awesome. But it's been over two years since that time. And I think, was it 2022? Why do I feel like it could have been late 2021? I don't know. It was a long time ago. I think it was 2022. So it's been like two plus years since then. And uh, that was at 150K subs. So I feel like we're almost at time to do it again, which is what we're going to do. And I was able to acquire every single pack thanks to Eric, who sold me all these packs. And uh, which, by the way, this is not every pack. The Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge I had to go grab at Walmart the other day. You guys saw that video where I had an extra pack. Then we are missing OTS Tournament Pack 25 which I haven't gotten any of yet, but there is one in my PO box right now. So I'm going to go get that, add that to this. And then that leaves only the Speed Duel Tournament Pack 7, which Eric, who I got these packs from, actually ended up buying an entire box just so he could get the one box, the one pack for me. So shout out to him. It was very epic. Shout out to Eric in the, in the comments for sure. But we have like 320... I think it's 27, 26. I don't remember how many it is exactly, but it's a, a lot of individual pack, over 300 different packs of Yu-Gi-Oh. So I am gonna show off every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh history besides those two that I mentioned. So basically every pack you could ever have here. And he actually did like even more stuff that I didn't do in my last two. He did stuff like light packs. He did extra versions, like he did 25th anniversary versions, even though they're kind of the same pack. He did um, 
the Noble Knights of the Round Table, I think. So that's in here somewhere. Noble Knights of the Round Table pack we've never even opened before. So that's going to be exciting. There's some promo packs, like a jump pack, I think, somewhere. So he went absolutely all in when it comes to every, like, stuff that might not, it's probably not even considered a pack he grabs. So these are all in first ed. I think there was, I had a question about it. This is the original Dark Side of Dimensions. This is not first ed. So I, I'm assuming that came in first ed, but I don't even remember Dark Side Dimensions having unlimited. So maybe it is first ed. It just doesn't say it because all the other ones say first ed. So I don't really know. There's the like the obelisk promo pack. Like that's not really a pack, but it kind of is because a promo pack. You know what I mean? Uh, OTS. That is a crazy one. That's Max C, I think. Ma no, was that Astral? Yeah, Astral's Max C. This is like solemn warning and stuff like that. There's some crazy ones in there uh battles of legend i mean there's a lot of crazy stuff we have the uh legendary duelist and circuit break all right i think that's gonna be enough for that first row that's a lot of packs we're all the way back in 2014 now so we're about 10 years ago in terms of packs there's the noble knight power pack which we get to open up astral pack secrets of eternity so yeah we're kind of going in like backwards but not really because we're now we're going 14 toward the present because i have that's the way i have them organized so we're actually going to more recent as we go every time I pick up a stack, but then the stacks go backwards. You know what I mean? So like this came after this and this and this and this, but yeah, so it's a little, we're not going in actual reverse order when it comes to like shifting through them, but that's okay. Also, Eric sent us a bunch of giveaways. So those are gonna be in future videos as well. So keep an eye out for that. Shout out to Eric for that as well. We have legendary collection, Astral. So this is the last one that's gonna have Astral packs in it. There's Astral one and two. Uh, these are all actually in order of release dates. So, I mean, I, I'm, I checked them not completely double check like every single date but i went through the list and wait where's astral three did i miss that there's astral three okay astral four that's maxi that if we pull that i mean we could literally pull nothing else and it would be worth it that would be insane so hopefully that will happen there are still like five stacks of packs so get excited this video when it happens is going to be insane there's our first turbo pack Turbo Pack 5, Extreme Victory. So we're around like 2010, 2011, 2012. There's a 2011 World Championship. So Turbo Pack 6, Potential Dark Arm Dragon. We have pulled that one before, but one pack would still be amazing. I have pulled you Photon Ghost Rare, but only out of a Walmart bonus pack. So it doesn't really count. It wasn't actually a sealed pack. Gold Series Haunted Mine. There's going to be so much fun had when we open all these up. So 250K, if this doesn't inspire you to subscribe, I don't know what will. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, and another thing I wanna mention, since we, we've talked about the packs enough, let's talk about what else is gonna be at 250K. So I don't just wanna do every pack ever, cause that's like not big enough, right? I mean, that's only every pack ever. I figured we could do an entire week worth of opening. So it'll end with the every pack opening, which will be obviously crazy, super long, two plus hour video. But I figured I do have 24 packs of Magicians for unlimited that i was planning on opening and i just haven't actually done it yet so i figured one day could be us opening an entire booster box essentially of magician's force unlimited getting that dark magician girl potentially i'm gonna open it for myself hopefully i can pull it grade it stuff like that that'll be another day in the week of 250k and then there's five other days to fill up so maybe we'll do a five day week maybe we'll do a seven day week i don't know yet it depends on what i can find but if you guys have ideas for what you want to see during that week or you have something that i could open that i could buy if you want to donate to the 250k or if you want to send a, a donation for me to spend on something that you want to get whether you're selling it to me donating giving an uh an idea whatever it is i want your opinions down below just so i can get brainstorm and think about what could be possible for the other days with 250k because it's already gonna be amazing but i want it to be even better than 200k which we had a bunch of videos for that and it was awesome 150k was awesome because we opened every pack so i want to kind of combine those two ideas and make it even better so yeah that's gonna be pretty awesome uh, i'm really excited for it uh so yeah make sure you subscribe guys there's first ad duelist genesis and crossroads of chaos those are gonna be big shonen jump anniversary pack is a big time one as well Got uh, Champion Game 8, Gold Series 2009. I mean, there are so many awesome packs. Dark Revelation, e literally every pack. This is one I haven't had. Shonen Jump like promo packs I never had, so it's cool to have those. This time, we have Light Destruction and Retro Pack 1, getting that reprint. It would have been easier to use the reprint for sure. And because we probably won't actually hit 250 before some new sets, I'll be collecting one pack of each as we go, obviously, so we at least have this. Uh, that's a, uh, I think, McDonald's Pack 2 right there. Uh, the Legendary Collection GX one with the just foil-looking Pop-Tart pack. The Force of the Breaker, Premium Pack, Tactical Evolution, Gladiator's Assault. Then we have the Cybernetic. I mean, we're getting to the big stuff. Some of these are actually hobby, too. I was looking at the codes. A few of the GX packs are actually hobby. I think Cybernetic Revolution might actually be. Uh, Revelation, we have Tournament Pack 7, Elemental Energy, Shadow of Infinity, Sacred Beast. We have pulled one now, so let's get the ulti now. Tournament Pack 8, Harpy's Feather Duster would be incredible. Champion Pack 1, 
got to be Wade, right? I mean, it's probably Wade. The thing about a lot of these, there's a good chance they're Wade. I don't know where he got them from because if you buy loose packs, there's just a chance it's, it happens. That's part of the every pack opening. But when there's so many packs, we only need a few of them to be on Wade and have awesome pulls for it to be great. All right, the final stack. I'm splitting these up because there's so many packs on the screen right now. But we're getting toward 2002 to 2006 area. Maybe 2005. Yeah, we don't get to 2006. Tournament Pack 6 and Dark Beginning 2, which are all, these are all, this is the end of GOAT format right here. FYI, for my my GOAT stuff I got going on, I've, I've been paying attention to that. Okay, the last few packs will go through one at a time. Okay, Pharaonic Guardian, Tournament Pack 4, Magician Force First, Ed, what even is this? Some sort of Shonen Jump promo or so. I don't know what that is. Dark Crisis, we have Invasion of Chaos and Ancient Sanctuary. And that leaves us with only a few packs left the first edition legend of blue eyes pack which if it's unweighted and has a foil in it, it's gonna be amazing we've already pulled blue eyes now so i'm not as worried about it before when i hadn't pulled blue eyes i really wanted to have to do it but we pulled it if i pull one for myself though that's gonna be next level like we pulled one for ian before and whatnot it was great it was awesome but if i pull one for myself that's like way better because you know it's yourself everything on the line you know what i mean uh metal raiders the promotional pack for metal raiders it just has some commons in it TP1, we just opened that the other day. If you missed that, go check out the TP1 opening. It was actually pretty insane. Uh, Magic Ruler, Spell Ruler, European, whatever, Spell Ruler First Dead. What, wait, no, never mind. I thought that was Spell Ruler First Dead. It's actually not First Dead. That's just regular Spell Ruler. Okay, so we don't have the Europe Spell Ruler pack. So if we do want to get that, maybe we could. It's not necessarily needed. TP2, we have, because uh, it's not actually a North American pack. Pharaoh Servant First Edition. There's a McDonald's pack one. Lab of the Nightmare. TP3, Potential Needleworm. That'd be one of the craziest pulls we could get and Legacy of Darkness. So that is every pack ever minus the two that I mentioned at the beginning. And I guess you could say Spell Ruler first, Ed. Maybe we could get that as we go. So this is going to be crazy. 250K. I want to hear your suggestions for the rest of 250K week. And of course, hit the subscribe button. We are less than 14,000 away at the time of recording this. You know, it's going to be a few months probably before we get there, unless you guys really hit that subscribe button and go crazy. Or we have some videos like viral or something, which doesn't really happen very often. But if it does, it'd be great. Get us there quicker. We are already ready to do the every pack opening, essentially just a couple packs away. So I'm excited for this. I love doing this opening. It's my favorite one to record because you go through the entire history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's the number one thing you got to do from this video. If you want to support the channel, make sure to check out Ruxin34.com and I will hopefully see you at 250k very soon. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Dean, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.